Hey everybody, for today's project I wanted to make an egg that had a deep sea trench feel to it with burled wood on both ends and resin in the middle to be like water. I started with a large piece of maple burl and cut out two square pieces on the bandsaw. I secured the wood pieces in a mold with popsicle sticks so they wouldn't float out. Then I combined the two halves of the resin and thoroughly mixed them together. I colored the resin with blue dye and black and blue powders. I added a little glitter to it as well. The resin was a little darker than I wanted so I added more resin to it to lighten it. Then I poured it into the mold. I put the mold in a pressure pot for a few hours to eliminate any air bubbles. Once the resin had cured, I took the mold out of the pot. I removed both sides of the mold with a drill and used a hammer to knock the blank out. I cleaned up the blank on the belt sander so that it would mount more safely on the lathe. At the lathe, I glued the blank onto a scrap piece of wood, which was held in a chuck. Once the glue set, I started by using a roughing gouge to round the square blank down to a cylinder shape. Then I switched to a bowl gouge to start forming the egg shape. I used a cup center to stabilize the egg while I was working on the base, which worked really well. For this egg, I really wanted to have a fully rounded base rather than a flat one like I usually do. So I cut as far into the base as I could without the egg snapping off. I noticed a little hole in the wood, so I filled it with some super glue. I started sanding with 100 grit sandpaper and worked up to 400 grit. Then I removed the sawdust with some mineral spirits. I used sanding sealer on the wood portions of the egg, which will help me get a better finish. Once that dried, I continued sanding using wet sandpaper all the way up to 2,500 grit. Then dried the egg off. I polished the egg with triple E compound, which really makes the wood grain stand out. Then it was time for the scary part, parting the egg off the lathe. I cut the base down to a small nubbin, then used a saw to remove it. I didn't have any way to hold the egg in the lathe to finish the bottom, so I used my drill sanding attachment to smooth the bottom. Then I repeated the sanding process I used on the rest of the egg so it would match. Finally, I buffed the egg with blue triple E compound to get rid of any remaining scratch marks.
Here is the finished egg in all its glory. It was a fun challenge, and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Thanks so much for watching, and let me know what you'd like to see next.